Good morning. I am, it's cool outside. I'm in Phoenix. The clouds are out. I've got my cold coffee. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, what I wanted to talk with you about this morning is building your email list because this is something I put off for way too long in my business, probably three or four years. And I kept hearing, you know, entrepreneurs say how important it was to build an email list and it just felt so overwhelming. I just could not get my head wrapped around doing it. And finally, after I heard that message over and over again, I knew I just couldn't put it off any longer. I started. So um, if you are just starting out a business, don't do that. Here's why. It's so important for you to gather your email list because this is yours. This is your way to contact people who want to hear from you. Um, anytime, of course I use you know LinkedIn and Facebook and the different social media platforms, but anytime they change their algorithms, I have no control over that. And I don't often own the email addresses, right? And so it's just so important that you build your own email list so that you can communicate with people who want to hear your message. Uh, there's lots and lots of uh, YouTube videos and courses and things like that out there. I'm going to give you a couple of ways that really help me kickstart my email list. The first one is super simple and it's just ask people. Ask them if they want to be on your email list. Uh, you can send them emails if you have their email address you know just personally say hey i'm building my email list here's the kind of content and value i'm going to be delivering do i have your permission to add you uh, another way is by using freebies so this works really really well whatever is within brand for you and your business create something of value that you're going to give away for free so i will give you an example i'm going to have this in the comment below a link to how you can get a freebie which is how to create your 100 day goals um, it walks through a five-step process why 100 day goals are so important and yes, it will put you on my email list. And so you'll be able to see that example. So I also recommend you use some kind of email um, uh, software to help you manage your list. I started using ConvertKit last year, so there is a payment for that. I forget if it's one or $200 a year. Um, I like ConvertKit because you can make landing pages very easily. It just, it creates really nice emails. It's super easy to use. Um, before that though, I used MailChimp. So ConvertKit doesn't have a free offer. I think there's a seven day free offer, but MailChimp is actually free until you reach a certain number of subscribers. So you could start with MailChimp. It's a little more complicated. Um, I'll say clunky, but there's all kinds of tutorials out on YouTube and uh, MailChimp also has some instructional videos that'll show you how to use it. And you can manage your email list there until you're ready either to upgrade in MailChimp or move to a different platform. Uh, the other cool thing is you can use tags when you have that type of a, of a system and it'll allow you to send emails to just a subset of your subscriber list. Uh, so I'm doing that today. I have a closed Facebook group and I'm launching a digital journal next week and so I'm giving them early access with a discount and I know who they are because I've tagged them as someone who came to me through my Facebook group. So that's another way you can build your email list is uh, if you have a closed Facebook group or if you are going to create one where you bring like-minded people together, include a questionnaire and then ask the question may I have your email address? You know, this does not, uh, I forget the way I worded it, but I said basically, if you don't give it to me, it doesn't stop. It, you're still gonna get in the group. And you can unsubscribe at any time. And about 25% of the people have given me their email. So I have right at 400 people in um, the Sparkle and Rise Facebook group. And the, um, I think I have 105 emails from that. So it's a pretty good return rate. So those are a couple of ways that you can build your email list. List. don't wait start today everybody starts at zero start with your family and friends create a freebie um, you can use MailChimp for free and then uh, if you've got something like a closed Facebook group make it part of your questionnaire and then oh before I let you guys go <laughs> yeah so now you got a list email them I had a list for probably four years before I started emailing people. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I was scared to death that they were going to unsubscribe, which 
wasn't emailing them anyway, so it really wouldn't matter. Um, and so I now email my list once a week, and yes, people do unsubscribe. And you know what? That's okay, because that just means my content is not for them. So um, create that email list, start emailing your subscribers, and you'll get better at it over time. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye.